smoke our salmon, we're going to be using the Stacker Smoker. Now, I'll put a link in the description to this. We have a video on the YouTube channel so you can uh, see how this is made. And it's got a firebox at the base and above it you have the smoking compartment. And we are also going to be using a Pro-Q Artisan smoke generator. This is a cold smoke generator. And the wood that we're going to be using to smoke this salmon is oak. Now, you can see here the smoke generator, and I'm using a very fine dust for this. This smoulders really nicely, and you can see the maze style on this smoke generator. And the purpose of that is that when you light it, the, the smouldering progresses around the spiral. And that means that you get quite a long smoke out of this. So you can see I'm just spreading the dust out nice and evenly over the whole surface here, trying to get it as even as possible. You don't want any high spots. You don't want certainly any low spots because it could go out. And all I'm doing here is just wiping off the surface. These are really good smoke generators. I've been using this one for years. And so long as you look after it and keep it clean uh, after use and dry, importantly, it will, uh, it will serve you well for many years. Now, that's it fully loaded. Now, fully loaded, this will last about 16 to 18 hours. When you buy one of these, they come with a tea light. Now, I'm not a tea light kind of guy, so I like to use a blowtorch. And you can see that here. I'll just lower the volume of that a fraction. Now, when you do use a tea light to light this particular smoke generator what you have to do is you have to light the tea light pop it in the little tray just uh, where I'm where I've got the blowtorch here and um, and leave it there for around about 30 seconds to a minute and that's sufficient time for it to catch the dust now um, obviously a blowtorch does it a bit quicker and it, I tend to get pretty good results with the blowtorch. If you have a brulee torch, then that'll do the same kind of thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I don't need to put this onto a metal base because uh, my firebox here has a metal base. So there we go. That's the smoke generator into the cabinet. This is a cold smoke generator, so the temperatures in this smoker aren't going to get above 30 degrees. And I did this on a particularly cool day in winter, so I think the temperatures in there were around about 4 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely fine. Certainly when you're doing fish, you don't want high temperatures, and I try and steer clear of warm days when I do this sort of thing. So you can see quite a low smoke density. So that's going to give us a really nice flavour. It's not going to oversmoke it. You're not going to get an acrid kind of uh, salmon. So this is the little thing that I do about 10 to 15 minutes into the burn. I always have a look to make sure that the smoke generator is still working. And you can see that's still generating a nice amount of smoke. That's going to go back in there. And that will carry on for around about 16 hours. And I let this go overnight. So... This is the next day, and the smoke has gone, and um, we've exhausted all the uh, smoke from the smoke generator, and you can see the salmon has got a really nice kind of colour to it. A little bit more of that later on in the video. But uh, I want to show you the smoke generator. And I'll take it out here and you can see that it is completely spent. There you go. That has burnt completely through. And that's taken around about 16 hours. So this has literally only just gone out. And there's the salmon looking resplendent. It's got a lovely dark colour to it. And you've got to remember also it dries further whilst it's cold smoking. Although you've dried the salmon in the fridge for 24 hours, it's still going to carry on drying when it's in the cold smoker. 
So we've taken it out, put it onto a nice clean rack, we'll get rid of the old rack. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop it back in the fridge. But before we pop it back in the fridge, we're going to cover it in some cling film. And the purpose of this is to, if you, if you think of the smoking process as, as layering a, a surface coating of smoke on, on the top of this fish, what we want to do is allow that to penetrate into the fish a little bit so we get a, a smoky flavour going through the whole side. And the way to do this is just pop it back in the fridge for 24 hours with this cling film wrap on it. And this just makes sure that the smoky flavour has time to penetrate through without the fish further drying out. Remember, a fridge is very, very uh, dry environment. So in it goes. And that's going to be there for 24 hours. So, again, this is the next day. You can see this has come out the fridge here. It's really cold. We're going to get rid of the uh, cling film and we're going to show you how to slice this salmon. And we use a traditional de-slice where we start at the tail and work our way up to the head of the fish. Now the first slice is always traditionally mine and I always leave it there for a quick nibble on it once all the other slicing is done. And uh, we work from the tail, taking slices off and we try and keep them as thin as possible. So you should be able to see the knife through the salmon fillet as you take the slice. And these are only about a millimeter to two millimeters thick, no more. Now, you couldn't do this with a, a fresh fish. It has to be cured and smoked and go through that, that whole process of um, firming up and drying out. So you can see also, as you do, as you cut it, and you work further back towards the head, you get this lovely oily sheen, and that's typical of salmon. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And this is something that we we love teaching people. This is called a D slice because the slices resemble a capital letter D. And uh, I know for some of you who are right-handed, looking at me slicing with my left hand is sometimes a little bit awkward to watch, so tough luck, mate. <laughs> I'm a one in ten, as they say. If you'd like to know more about some of the packaging options for smoked salmon, then don't forget to check out our next video where we'll show you how you can do this. Music